This is AC Star Lord, aka Austin, and welcome to my channel. Welcome back, and also welcome to my channel. This episode or this review is about the Black Phone. Now, Black Phone seems like a weird title for a horror movie made by Universal and Blumhouse. Before I get into that, I love how Universal uh, Blumhouse. Um, changed up their little opening sequence like you know how Marvel changes theirs for their TV show and the movie their TV shows in the movie to tell you which Marvel thing you're watching like oh this is the TV show this is the movie blah 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 um, you know they added some scenes into like the Marvel thing well Blumhouse did the same thing with theirs like they start out with Michael Myers in the woods and then they show you the other movies that they have and then it's like a 3D Blumhouse thing instead of that chair spinning in the the corner of the room. I don't know, that was just funny. This movie, because it was made by, uh, um, the people that did Doctor Strange and, um, Slender? No, I mean, uh, Slender Man, well, one of those Slender or whatever. But anyways, I just noticed that they changed the opening, so that's kind of cool. But get back into the Black Phone. Uh, a movie called Black Phone, and it opens up with a baseball scene. Kind of weird, but it opens up with a kid named Finney and, uh, playing baseball, and where we meet one of the grabbers, victims, um, after that, where he was a baseball player, an Asian baseball player, and he always said to uh, Finney that his arm is mint. And that comes back later in to this review. So, the grabber grabs him, and then the grabber grabs some other kids down the road, and especially one of Finney's friends. He's also down the road, but like, Finney's a really, sh Finney is a really shy person because his and then is abusing alcohol, and also his sister is seeing visions and stuff like that. But that has nothing to do with him being shy. It's him being shy because of his father taking out, um, drinking alcohol, abusing, uh, and he's and swaying into this movie that the he kind of gets drunk and abuses them. But it's also showing because he doesn't like conflict with bullies and stuff like that. So. You know, there was one bully that punched him in the nose. His sister uh, in the sweet set so and punches him in the nose. I mean, punched him in the nose. And then the other, one of his other friends, Finney's other friend, um, is a young Mexican guy, beats the crap out of him in one day. And we see that scene. But then, <sighs> while that's happening, you see the grabber, like, after the fight, you see the grabber in where the kids are um, driving around, which the grabber is played by Ethan Hawkins, which is amazing. His daughter also does, and I found out his daughter is on Stranger Things, the girl who plays, um, the girl that helps out, Steve. But anyways, Ethan Hawking in this, you might recognize him from like other movies, but also recognize him for uh, Moon Knight that he did this year. Um, that's the bad guy. But anyways, he plays the grabber and he grabs kids. Well, throughout this, you see him grab different kids and they didn't survive. Their names are on posters everywhere. Finney sees this and Finney ends up being, one day, the sister goes off to like spend a night at her friend's house every Friday night. And one Friday night, he doesn't show back up at his house because he always tells his sister, I want to take care of dad because the dad's a drunkard. And on top of that, She's also seeing visions of different kids being abducted as well. Not just that, but when, not just her brother, but when her brother gets uh, abducted, he, she starts seeing visions of the brother. Now the brother got abducted by the same way as the other kids, by him just knocking them out with some type of spray and throwing up and uh, throwing up balloons in the air and seem making himself seem like he was a magician, uh, 
a man that does magic, a musician, uh, well, you know, a um, entertainer that does magic. We'll just say that. And Finney's one of the people, and Finney scratched his arm up with a toy rocket ship. And this takes place in 19... This takes place in 1979, I believe. Or, I mean, or, I mean, 17... Well, in 1979, yeah. But, yeah. In this time period, the people... <laughs> kids get kidnapped. They're, they're pretty much kidnapped. There's no other way of finding them some giving getting clues, you know, uh, cops getting clues on the cops, um, are looking for all these missing kids, and then the only person that knows where these missing kids are, are Finney's sister, and Finney's sister sees these visions, and everyone thinks she's, even the cops think she's, like, a little crazy, or in this way with another kid that she might have done something to this other kid when it was nothing, or it wasn't, wasn't nothing, and then, you know, but anyways, Finney is stuck in the situation of being in the basement with a grabber, and the grabber comes downstairs, played by Ethan Hawkins, with different masks on, and those masks have him have different personalities. Um, but it's an attachable mask, like sort of the top part is like has like a forehead and horns, like a double horn, and that's the untouchable. And then the mask down here is just a smiley face. It's a mask where he has one that's a frowny face, one that's a smiley face, one that is a, another frowny face that really looks more mad-like. So these, the, he comes in the, he comes downstairs, different, a different mask, and then terrorizes Finney, and Finney's getting calls from his other victims on the phone. Like, the Asian kid said, oh, your arm is mint. He calls him first, and then a bully call, then uh, a newspaper guy, a newspaper kid calls him and tells him about a certain thing in the uh, basement. Then another kid calls him, and he says, you know how much time you can escape if you have a combination lock, blah, 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 blah while he's sleeping and waiting for you to come upstairs to get a play, uh, Naughty Boy, which Naughty Boy is a game that he wants him to play where he sits right by the basement and waits for him to come upstairs so you beat him. And then even the newspaper kid says, look, look, he's waiting for you to go upstairs and beat you. When I was waiting upstairs, he's waiting by the stairs waiting for you to come up so he could beat you, blah, blah, blah. The last, uh, a bully calls him, figure, tells him, one of the bullies in the town calls him and tells him what's going on. While he's doing that, the sister's also having these other different visions of his, her brother being there, but the one vision that she has is right on point where he gets a phone call of the bully that's telling him what to do, and he had a high score of a ping pong game ping pong game, game and we see that back flashback but Finney's sister's in the flashback and then you get my point leads her to where she needs to be to find her brother and then the last person to call was his um, Mexican friend that tells him look you're going to take the phone I know you're brave and you never you were never one to fight back but I know you're brave you're strong you can take a punch you never want to deliver it, but uh, this is what I need you to do. I need you to take the phone, step back, swing back, and hand him with the phone. Well, he practiced that with him because there's all these kids. The first kid doesn't show up as a, like a force ghost, but all these other kids will show up as a force ghost while he's calling them. In an interesting kind of way, how they do it, they're, while he's on the phone, in real time, these people, these kids are right there beside him when he's on the phone. The black phone. And then as he's discovering all these different things that there's a way to get out from the fridge. There's um, a hole in there. And there's also a combination lock. There's a wire. All these kids figure out different ways to get out. Even climbing up with the, um, 
with the carpet, and they find different ways to get out. But all Ethan Hawking wants is to be a silly killer, uh, be a silly killer, and kill these kids. Well, Freddy was one of his last persons, and then Freddy finally gets the upper hand because her, her stupid his brother shows up in this, and his stupid brother finds out. <laughs> He didn't know his brother. His brother was trying to solve the case because the cops come to the, their house and try to solve the case, help them solve the case. And then he realizes everything is happening right below him. And eventually he's like, you know, honking and starts to grab him saying, look, you made me kill my brother and now you're next, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to take my time. But he asked him one time what his name and he's like, my name is Taylor. No, your name is Finney. I was going to let you go, blah, blah, blah. He was never going to let him go. He was going to, play around with them, basically. And, of course, Finney gets the upper hand. Finney's sister leads him to the house, and then there's your, basically, your movie right there where he gets uh, rescued. But there's some stuff I left out because I don't want the, I don't want you guys to... I don't want you guys to be thinking, oh, I'm going to spoil the whole movie. I want you guys to see this movie because the most frightening thing is the mask that Ethan Hawking wears. And this different things. Those masks are like, kind of like split for him. Like the movie Split where it's different personalities, I think. But like the way he acts in this movie with those masks on is just awesome and awesome and courageous and amazing how he puts on this good show and it's just a good horror movie with him with him wearing these masks and being a mystery this whole time even when he gets well I'm not going to spoil that but there's one scene where uh, his face mask gets knocked off and he doesn't want to reveal which is that he doesn't want to show anything else on his face so yeah it's a very interesting movie highly recommend checking it out check it out in the 4th of July 4th of July weekend or check it out after 4th of July or if you've already seen it you already know let me know if you've already seen this movie leave a comment down below if you're going to see this movie and if you are or if you've already seen it, let me know. Tell me what you thought about it. And then maybe we can have a discussion about it. I don't know. But leave a comment down below. Like a like this video if you like it. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I'm out. And peace out.